first and foremost, look at my sweater. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I get it. The Mandalorian at this point is kind of old news when it comes to the show itself. The season ended like a couple months ago, but stuff happened and I want to talk about it and it's my channel, so meh. <laughs> So I'm gonna address the elephant in the room real quick. Um, if you've been on the internet at all in the past couple days, you may have noticed that a certain someone is, uh, unemployed. Oh, she's unemployed? Aw. Hmm. Alright. So basically what happened, Gina Carano, who plays Cara Dune, has been fired from The Mandalorian. Whoa. You may be thinking to yourself, Jillian? Why? Why'd that happen? What'd she do? What, what'd, she do what'd she do wrong? Well, <laughs> to quickly just name a few, she has posted and liked anti-mask, anti-BLM, like rigged election kind of things that people are like, um, okay. Also, when asked to put her pronouns in her bio in support of trans lives, she put beep, bop, boop. Are you kidding? So we can just kind of check transphobic off that list. And most recently, and which is probably like the final straw, she posted this on her Instagram story. If you can't read it, it basically says that being a conservative is the same thing as being Jewish during the Holocaust. Yup. So anyway, Disney was just kind of like, no, no thanks. Bye. <laughs> Before you start screaming about cancel culture, let me just say, shut the fuck up, okay? Yes, shut up. Cancel culture sucks. It does. It's very problematic. But this is not cancel culture. This is about words having consequences. This is about a company not wanting to have someone work for them who represents these harmful views. That's literally it. If you were running a company and one of your employees started saying a bunch of horrible stuff like, yeah, I work for this place and I think this, and it puts like a damper on your image, you're gonna get rid of them. That's literally all it is. Yes, Disney is very problematic. Yes, they have dealt with people like this in the past and done nothing about it. But this is a start and I am glad about that. Hopefully they stay on top of this and start holding more people accountable because that really does need to happen. Anyway, R.I.P. her career. Do we care? Clap if you care. The racist dude bros care. <laughs> They're canceling their Disney Plus subscriptions. Yeah, because Disney's really gonna miss your $5.99 a month, bro. You're gonna put them out of business. It's gonna be your fault. Really sad. I really hope this makes them mad because it's really funny when they try to insult me and every time they do, I just gain more power. Also, as of today, Gina's gonna be producing and starring in a movie with, um, Ben Shapiro. <sighs> Girl really went from being in Star Wars to that. I mean, it's funny. I can't help but wonder what they're gonna do with her character next season. Like, they might recast her, they might just never mention her again, or they might just be like, oh yeah, she died. It was sad. So yeah, those are my thoughts on it. Lucasfilm, if you want to do like a whole 360 and recast, here's my resume. Um, hit me up. Anyway, when one person is fired, another person is hired. Pedro is booked and busy, as he should. He is going to be playing Joel in The Last of Us, which is going to be a show on HBO, and it's based on a video game that I have never played. I'm not a gamer kind of person. All I really knew about this was like, there's zombies? Question mark? I don't know. Who knows? But my friend is really into the game. She's played it. So I asked her like, hey, what's it about? Like, blah, blah, blah. What's he going to be doing? And all I could take away from it is that he is going to be playing another adoptive father. So I've come to the conclusion that his typecast is DILF, as he should. Anyway, on to like our actual topic. I binged The Mandalorian for the first time about a couple weeks after season two ended. I watched it with my parents and we finished it within like a week. And it quickly became my personality. 
if you watch my last video, you'll know that me and my friends are having a Star Wars marathon this semester. We did it last semester with Harry Potter and it was very chaotic. I would let him pay. actually use his doormat. The boy is everything. Yeah! to do it again but with star wars my friends heard me talk about the mandalorian so much that we decided to add it to our marathon which was just the best idea we started watching it a few days ago and we finished the entire first season in a day i'm just saying watching shows with your friends just hits different because of just the amazing commentary he's hot admit it where is he's, Where's his <laughs> he's sexy do you guys think he's sexy no yeah why the mask kink. Shut the fuck up. Do you think he's sexy? No. Yeah. Thank you. Blood on his face. Sexy. You with blood on his face. He's sexy. You're placing? I want him to murder me. <laughs> we just watched the whole first season. How do you guys feel? Uh, I'm not gonna remember anything except for the fact that he's a dad in space, but I'm not mad about that. I'm okay with that. I'm excited to see you be gay. <laughs> We wound up finishing season one around like 1 a.m. So by the end, we were a little bit loopy. Head empty, just Star Wars. Whoa. Okay. Can I get your opinions on season one? <laughs> Give me verbal opinions. I like his face. Um, but I like the best part was his face. <laughs> one thing I've got is that he's a dad, but he's also a virgin. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because he has baby Yoda. This is baby Yoda. And and also helmet, so he can't be touched. He's touch starved. <laughs> Just like me. Oh my god. <laughs> Nelly, can I get your verdict? I like his butt. He has a nice ass. That's it. That's all I got. Jesus Christ, okay. He's sexy! What do you I'm lesbian, but like, hey, he's pretty hot. Yeah. And the things I'd let that man. Do. Okay, I'm ending it here. <laughs> My friends really liked the first season, which I was really excited about. I was like, yes, I finally have people to talk about this with. So my thoughts on season one. I just think it's a brilliant addition to the franchise. I love how it's modeled like an old Western kind of thing. I just love literally everything about it. The characters, the plot lines, the fight scenes, the effects, everything is just cool. It's just so cool. <laughs> That's the only word I can think to describe this show. Like you're sitting there watching it, you're just like, Hey, yo, this is cool. <laughs> this is just so cool. I especially love how there are so many guest directors. Jon Favreau, of course, does so much. does an amazing job. Stan him. But I am just so pleasantly surprised when, like, a different name pops up at the end of the episode. We've had Bryce Dallas Howard, who is a queen. We have Robert Rodriguez, who... Spy Kids. <laughs> and we have Taika Waititi, who is my favorite director of all time. I love that man so much. It's just so amazing that there's so many different kinds of like styles and like put together you can still enjoy the same show. I think that the main highlight of the series are the amazing characters. Mando has quickly become my favorite Star Wars character of all time. And I'm not just saying that because I'm in love with him, although it might be true, but <laughs> it's just not for the reasons you'd think. He's just an amazingly complex character. I may just be a sucker for a badass with the soft side, but this dude I just love him so much. <laughs> we barely ever see his face and yet he is so expressive, you know exactly what he's thinking. And that is also owed to Pedro's amazing acting, Stan him. I love the relationships that he forms with literally every single person that he meets because when he's not like murdering people, he's a really nice guy. <laughs> I just love him so much. <laughs> Don't even get me started on him and Baby Yoda because I will start crying. I will not hesitate to start sobbing right now. Besides Mando, everyone else is just great. Star Wars is full of so many amazing characters, and as a writer, I can only dream to create such really great characters that just stick with you. Even the one-off characters who are there for just like one or two episodes, like I remember them because they were so well-written. I just love them a lot. <laughs> okay, on to season two.
We tried to binge the entire second season in a day like we did for season one, but it quickly became like really late at night and we had classes the next morning, so we were just like, nah. So we kind of capped it after episode 13. My friends had kind of mixed reactions. Can I get a verdict? We're ha we haven't finished the second season. I would die for Baby Yoda, but we already knew that. That was already given. <laughs> I know that- We only have three episodes left. I know that Jedi was orange, but she was kind of hot. <laughs> we killed a lot of kayaks and didn't really appreciate it. Kayaks! <laughs> I like the Alaskan bullworm. He was cute. <laughs> they ate a kayak. Yeah, but Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, waiter! <laughs> Can I, can I have some predictions for the last three episodes? Okay, yes. I, ha I have one for the last one because you said you cried. So obviously, uh, uh, Baby Yoda's leaving. He's going to do the thing where he, that the lady just said, he's gonna go to this spot and he's going to choose his path and they're going to separate and it's going to end there. And he's going to see the ball and he's going to be sad. How is he gay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... He doesn't have to be gay. No, no, no. He can be bi or whatever. He can be anything he wants. Um, I'll fully support Space gay. And, exactly. Um, I think he's gonna see Luke and be like, oh shit. I have high expectations for what Luke is gonna look like. Um, I think he's gonna see Luke and he's gonna be like, that, that guy is hot. And Luke's gonna be like, thank you, I know. Um, and then they're gonna kiss. Make a dumb Well, you got it right. That's exactly what happens. I knew it. I knew it. Wait, really? Yeah. Do you see more? Yeah, when do we see his face? Uh, like second to last episode, and then the last episode. <laughs> I mean, if you want to see his face, we 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 can we can watch Narcos. No, oh. can't you see his butt too? Yeah, <gasps> we should watch Narcos. <laughs> also, the reason they're saying Mando is gay, um, we kind of looked up some fan fiction while we were watching, and the ships. Mando and Luke are in love, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> anyway, I love Ahsoka's cameo in this season. I have not watched the Clone Wars series. I want to, it's on my list. I swear to God, I'm gonna watch it. But I have seen her everywhere. <laughs> like, I can tell she's just a great character in general. I love the way they adapted her for live action. She looks so good. Also, her lightsabers? Dog, that is so badass. I love it so much. I really hope we get to see more of her, maybe in season three bring her back maybe okay so the last three episodes yeah my friends were not prepared i've seen it already and i wasn't prepared we all cried and it was great so i have no idea what's going on good to know um last episode we watched baby yoda had like a character development kind of thing <laughs> isn't his name grogu now right yes grogu you learned that um what else did, what else happened? There was the orange lady. So <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I don't let her step on me. Period. Uh, what else happened? Hey queen, how's unemployment? <laughs> ah, yes! Oh my Sexy! <laughs> oh my god. What's your designation? My heart. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How okay. the start is. So, last episode's about to start. Thoughts. We're gonna see Luke. That's it. Is that your only thought? If, if, if the child is not back in his arms by the end of this episode, I will commit arson. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna have to commit arson. <laughs> He's wearing the Chanel boots. Please be hot. Please, please, please be hot. Please be hot. Here. Oh my god. Please. Please be. Don't look ugly. O M G. He's wearing the Chanel boots. He's like, yeah, I'll show my face. There's a hot guy in the room. <laughs> Jesus fuck. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. Oh my god. Goku's like, oh my god, my dad is sexy. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Oh. Ew. Bye-bye.
crying in the club. <laughs> I want to feel nothing. Final thoughts? We finished it. I you. CGI was really good. <laughs> Did I have, have to make that. him that sexy? He that was, was so fine. Mm -mm. So, like, can I get final thoughts? No. It's kind of how I, I kind of predicted it. Really? Yeah. Last, oh, this is my life. Last night, I said that he's going to go to the thingy, and then he's going to choose to be with the Jedis. So I knew it was going to happen. And then when you said Luke was going to be there, I figured you'd go with Luke. I wasn't expecting R2, though. That was a <laughs> wonderful surprise. Nelly, are you okay? It was good. <laughs> Broke my heart, but it was good. We gotta wait till 2022. No! <laughs> you know what else was in 2022? What? Yeah, oh married. my god. <laughs> I <always> cry. <laughs> Can I get like a review? Can I get like a rating? So I fell asleep for some of it, but I think the parts where I was awake, I liked it. I was very confused during the, all the pew pew parts. It, I don't understand action. I thought it was good though. There's something in my eye. I'm not, actually not crying. There's something in my eye. If I can cry, you can cry. No, I'm not crying. This eye's dry. This one's wet. <laughs> um, the show was good. I was a little lost. Yeah. But I'm confused most of the time anyway, so. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> can we watch Julian the Panthers No! If Mando and Grogu don't reunite soon, I am going to march to Disney headquarters and burn it down. I swear to God. Look at this man. Look at his face. He's so sad. Give him his son back. Also, is he like, um, king of Mandalore now that he has a dark saber? This poor man just wanted his son back and now he's a king. Also, is he homeless now? Because his Honda Civic blew up, and he's going to have to go back to toyota -thon and get a new one. Or else he's just homeless. <laughs> Yay, homeless king. <laughs> Moving on. Love Luke. Love Mark Hamill. I would die for both of them. But I have to admit, I was hoping for Sebastian Stan at the end. I am speaking this into existence now. Sebastian Stan will play Luke Skywalker one day. It's going to happen. I am speaking it into existence. Dude would just be so good. Admit it. He'd be so good. Also, I know that Luke is taking Grogu to like go train and stuff. Um, is a certain someone also there? You know who I'm talking about. Is Ben Solo there? Is Grogu training with Ben? I hope Grogu bullies him. I really do. <laughs> Can you imagine like parent visitation day? Leia and Han going to see Ben and they just look to the side and there's Mando in his full armor. He's like, hey. Have you guys seen my son? He's green. So anyway, here's like my theory of what'll happen for season three. It's less of a theory, more of like what I want to happen. I really want them to pick up like where they left off for season two, like with Mando just standing there without his helmet on and he turns around like, hey guys, and everyone's just like, oh no, he's hot. Do, do we look? Can, can, can we look or? <laughs> I really want to see him and Bo-Katan fight for the Darksaber, but like he's gonna let her win regardless, but there has to be some kind of loophole for this. Maybe they can arm wrestle or thumb war or something. I also want him to keep going on like normal, like going on his little quests. But I want every time he sees a child, he just gets sad. He just gets really sad. Give me the angst. I want to cry. Like I just had this image in my head of him holding a Polaroid of Grogu while Gary Come Home plays in the background. Give it to me, Disney. And that will just eventually lead to them reuniting. Because I physically cannot be able to see this man without his son. And yeah, I just really love this show so much. It rekindled my love for Star Wars, which is a great thing, but it's also bad because it is now my current hyperfixation. Yay. Season 3 apparently starts filming in April, so hopefully we get more content. And yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, Pedro Pascal, hit me up. I'm free always. I'll see you next week.